a publisher's presentation copy of A Week on the Concord and Merrimack Rivers by Henry D. Thoreau with corrections in Thoreau's own hand. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington and I'd like to show you this uh, special copy of uh, a book that one sees uh, fairly often but not usually in the primary state as here. Uh, as it was Thoreau's first book, uh, it was uncertain how many copies should be printed, but uh, uh, a thousand copies were agreed upon. But the publishers only bound up 550. And uh, here we see the title page, and it was published in 1849. And Thoreau went to, the, went to Boston to the publisher's office, and he saw the first copies. The 550 copies were bound up actually in eight different bindings. So this is one of those possible eight bindings. But it was also the occasion for Thoreau to send out copies and to arrange to have copies sent out. This one is a presentation copy to the editor of the North American Review from the publishers. And uh, that is not Thoreau's hand. However, Thoreau, uh, being a first-time author and very careful about these things, had noticed that some of the proofs that he'd sent the publisher um, had the corrections had not been made. So Thoreau, in his own hand, corrected some of these misprints. So here on this page, that should not read work. He's corrected in the margin to wash, a great wash and freshet. So he's corrected that. That is Thoreau's hand on page 120. And on page 139, we see him changing. That shouldn't be experience, it should be expediency. So he's crossed out the end of the word and corrected in the margin. Again, this is in his own hand. In pencil, uh, the Thoreau family, of course, had a um, pencil manufacturing company. So it's appropriate that he would uh, make these corrections in pencil. Now. Copies of this book are known with corrections, but usually the corrections are made in another hand. They're not necessarily in Thoreau's hand. The earliest ones do, however, like this, do seem to be in Thoreau's hand. The later copies, some of them were corrected by his sister and some by another hand that remains unidentified. Now, as a presentation copy, uh, the editor of the North American Review at this time was Francis Bowen, who had actually taught uh, Thoreau uh, philosophy at Harvard and they didn't um, uh, really get on. Bowen had already attacked Thoreau and all the transcendentalists for the vagueness of their philosophy. So it's uh, unlikely that this book would have received a sympathetic reading, which perhaps explains why it is in very fresh, um, more or less unread condition. Uh, there are a, just a couple of uh, nicks. There's a little tear there at the head of the joint and the foot of the spine just down there, just affecting the imprint at the foot there. The cloth is just a little bit worn. But otherwise, this is a very fresh um, and lovely copy of a book. Um, as I say, because they didn't sell very well, uh, in itself, it's not the rarest of Thoreau's book, but in this condition and in primary state and a presentation copy, it is indeed a rare and desirable beast. For full details of this copy and for other works by Thoreau and by the Transcendentalists, please see the Peter Harrington website.